Barbara, Mick, thanks for the support, guys. We love you. Hey, everyone, what's up? How to hone a cylinder. First off, we have a friend here, Cody, who's a follower. His friend wants to buy some jugs for a 720, C do 720. And what I'm going to do is I already sandblasted these out. No, you didn't get footage because time is of the essence. But we've pretty much sandblasted out everything that is important. The holes, you know, the water passages here. Look up in here, right? Water jackets are clean for a salt water. All the gasket seals up here are all clean, right? Let's look at the other one. You know, I'm selling these for 75 bucks a piece, honed out, sandblasted. All you need to do is paint them, right? I mean, that's as best as you can get with a Harbor Freight Blast cabinet. The outside I hit pretty good. Just need some paint. Once you paint those, you won't even see those blemishes. But look, right? All that's clean, right? The water passages all cleaned out, ready to go. And if you're riding in salt water, whatever, because it's going to, you know, it's going to get salty again. I don't care how you flush these things out, they're going to get salty. So what we're going to show you is honing these with a ball hone. So I'm selling these for $75 a piece, honed and ready to go, sandblasted. That's a, that's a damn good deal for 720 jugs. I'm going to show you how I hone it real quick. And uh, we'll clean them up and uh, they're ready for sale for him. This is what I use right here. This is a flex hone. Now, <clears throat> I want you to read this for a second. Surface finishing, cross hole deburring, edge blending, and any type of size or cylinder. I use this for two reasons. Number one, these cylinders are not in that bad of shape. I don't need to cut anything out of them. I just need to scratch them up, put some cross hatch in them. So that the ring seat now this is for a 720 this is a what 82 millimeter or 83 millimeter ball home you put a little bit of oil on it you know i put a little bit of penetrating oil whatever you can get cutting oil you can get whatever you don't want to put anything too viscous like synthetic you put this in a drill and you move it in and out at a 45 i'll show you what you want is you want 45 degree cross hatch in this cylinder now can i see any cross hatch in here no, because the cylinders are pretty much glazed, okay? So, for those who say, oh man, you're an asshole. Well, I got news for you. When you're man enough to take on my c 720 SP, that's bored out with a factory pipe, and you think your pistons are better, you bring it, okay? That's all I got to say there. Because I've done this with six motors, I've seated rings on six motors, and I've never had a problem. Now, if you have serious scores in your cylinders, that's a different story. The point is this, I am honing them out for new rings. So again, if you think you're awesome and you have a different way of doing this, please meet me at Main Street Dock in Sebastian, Florida, whenever you want, and we'll go ahead and put our cylinders to the test, okay? In the meantime, and that's for people with 720s, if you're 720, We'll put those to the test anyways we're going to hit this with a ball hone and we're going to deglaze those cylinders we're going to take out all the glazing on there put some cross hatch in there put some scratches on the cylinders and if you seat those rings with conventional oil not clots not synthetic you seat them with garbage oil that's how you break rings in garbage oil you don't get the walmart super tech that's how you break in rings you don't break it in with high performance motul or anything else you break it in with garbage oil Let's see how I do this. So the first thing I do is put it in a drill and I hit it with a little bit of penetrating oil, right? Ooh. A dry finger in a wet hole is not good. Yeah, okay? primitive. All right? <laughs> Most of you guys found that out. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of pen oil and we're gonna come over here, okay? And I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Now, you can get some cutting oil if you wanna be a real man, or you can do it this way because this is the way, the affordable way. All right, this is how Mick O'Toole will do it in Dublin. Oh, by the way, Chris, please give a, a shout out to Barbara O'Toole. Hello, Barbara O'Toole in Dublin, Ireland. Dublin? She is, she is a watcher. Mick's, 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 wife. Mick's wife is a watcher, bro. Mick's wife. Mick's wife. Barbara, we say hello. Barbara, we love you. We're okay. about 3,000 miles away. We're like 9,000. Anyways, here you go. Now, you want to go ahead and get this going in and out, and you want cross hatch at 45 degree angle. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on number one. All right? Now watch this. Get a good angle. You ready? Now we're gonna give her a little, we're gonna give her a little hee-ho, ready? Hee-ho, hee-ho. Now look, 
You want a 45, keep it straight. You want a 45 degree angle like this. You don't want to juice them too early. Yeah, you don't want to juice them too early. All right, if you, if you think you're gonna juice too early, you just stop, all right? Now look, you don't have to, you don't want to do that, okay? You want to get it nice and, yeah, just like, yeah. Just like a, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it kid friendly here. You're wondering why Eric's is turning 8,000, it should have already been blown up. Just it, that, it. Exactly, because Eric knows he's, how to. He's still running. Eric knows how to hone a cylinder, so 7,900 RPM. I don't, don't know, modify it with the factory pipe. Well, guess what, she's still running. All right, now watch this, we're going to back it up. We're going to back it up, watch this. Back it up. Back it up, look, we're going to go, Whoop. we're going to give a little reversey here. All right, reverse, reverse yeah. <laughs> like neutral drop. Check out, out neutral drop. <laughs> you guys gotta check them out. Check out neutral drop on YouTube, right? All right, so you give it a little reverse. You now look, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a little I'm gonna give her a little one two right here. Ready? We go forward. We go in the bottom end. We're going to the back door. Back door right here. We're going back door. Don't keep it too fast. You you want to just keep it. You know you're 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 taking off that glaze, right? Taking off that deglaze. You're getting a little aroused watching it. Anyway, that's all right. So what you're gonna do is, you want to get it to where you're making 45 degree lines in that cylinder. If you do this, no good. All right, just like this. 45 degree line. Nope. Oh, we're gonna go reversey. Reversey. Reversey like this. Nicola Tools laughing right now. So is Jack the Ripper. Right here, a little reversey right here. You think we're funny? You go check. Oh God. Yeah, we're getting a little low, guys. <laughs> hey man, PO Box six six six, Roseland, Florida three two nine five seven. Go ahead and send the nips to Fireball. More videos equal more nips. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one more time this way. All right. And yeah, we're a little dirty in there. We're gonna go a little bit like this, right? You just got it, man. You got to take off that glaze like that. And what you're going to see when I break clean this cylinder out is you're going to see some lines in there. And you're going to say, whoa, man, that's scratched up. No. You want it to be scratched up. You want those rings to make the surface. You want those rings to say, I am boss. And the rings are going to cut that cylinder and make their own surface. Right? That's how you do it. Now, your engine builder might tell you and I'm an asshole. That's okay. Because, again, we're going to rehab. You want to meet me at Main Street, Sebastian, Florida, and put your 720 cylinders to the test. Come bring it out there. And I've done this six times. And I haven't had one cylinder fail yet. Okay, $26 ball home. All right. And that's enough on that. Now, we're going to pause the camera. We're going to brake clean it, clean it out, and see what happens. All right, so you, you use brake cleaner, and I want you to see if I can see in there. Oh, yeah. We got a light? Hold on, let's get a light, Chris. Fire. Yeah, the shop's a little wrecked, guys. Now, I want you to look in there. What you should have is a bunch of scratches that are going, like, 45 degree Ooh. up and down. You see? You don't Ooh. want it. You don't want a shiny cylinder. You want it all scratched to hell, okay? You don't want that mirror finish. If you got a mirror finish, you didn't do it right. There you go. Look. Oh yeah, it looks pretty that, good. See that? It's a little round, but still, I've done that six times. You want that dull finish, okay? And once you do this, now your brake cleaned it, you want to hit it with some penetrating oil. You don't want it to rust. So this is how cylinders should look. A nice, you know, you can't, I don't know if the camera can get it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got some 45 degree cross hatch there. That's plenty. Yeah, you see it going. Yeah, you just, you just want that, you don't want that mirror to finish. Now, hold on, hold on, let me show you what I, let me show you what a mirror finish looks like you don't want. Look, let's take a look. Look, see that? Oh, yeah. You see how that's shiny? Look. Shit, get my hand in the way. Look, look down in there. You see how that's shiny? It's reflective. No good. No good. See that shininess? Yeah, yeah see No good. Yeah, no there. good. You don't want that. You want, you want it to be lines in there and dull finish so that your rings seat. That's what you want. All right, here's cylinder number two. Oh, see? We're gonna get some light here. There you go. No glaze, right? See the cross hatch in there? That's what you want. You don't want any mirror finish. You want those lines going up and down, 45 degree angle like that. That's ready to go. That's ready to seat. So 
right before you know i'm going to oil these up so they're going to be shiny with oil but right before you put them in you, you know carb clean them out clean them out put the, the lube on the rings drop the cylinders you know pistons in the cylinders but look see that look that's what you want right there 45 degree cross hatch that's how you hone a cylinder very simple do it yourself don't pay the engine guy you know get two cylinders like this right easy peasy right ready to go we're gonna lube them up and they're ready to go uh chris is in there making meatloaf with his wife uh but anyways the harbor freight harbor freight sandblaster right here did its job again and uh oh boy all kinds of garbage on this shelf and and what i do with this ball home don't wash that off leave it let it soak into that just put it back in the box okay not gonna hurt anything uh when you're using the oil to cut those cylinders don't use anything synthetic just use some regular old oil make them dull like that make them nice cross hatch like that your cylinders will be ready your rings will seat we're ready to go Say goodbye to our friend uh, Mick and Barbara O'Toole. Barbara, Mick, thanks for the support, guys. We love you. Thanks for all the support to WSM. We're trying to get some hookup from them. So hopefully... WSM, did you tell me WSM Pistons ain't let us down yet? Still, I don't know what the fucking big problem is. Still rolling. Of course, they ain't here, but they're at Eric's. <laughs> so, well, and, 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 a big, and a big thank you to... The Dublis. <laughs> That's empty, bro. Monday night, still rolling hard. <laughs> we drink it all. We got props everywhere. We, we, got, got, we got parts. parts but he's everywhere. on the Mick Ultra and the Lime Marita. Uh, this ben video is brought to you by... <laughs> Strawberry time. <laughs> Cheers. See ya.